I'm here with Gemma Zhu from Fork Ventures. It's great to have you here. Hi, Michael. Great to be here. And I thought we might just start off just by discussing a little bit about what Fork Ventures is and what your role is supporting Horizon. Sure. So Fork Ventures um, is a vehicle where my partners and I make uh, crypto investments through. Um, you know, we've all been in crypto since early 2017, um, uh, uh, mostly investing in early stage projects, um, uh, as well as you know, a bit of trading and, and some sort of um, advisory to help out our portfolio companies. Um, and, and, you know, so far we've got a, probably, a, I would say, a, a, um, a portfolio size of around 35 to 40 projects. Um, uh, and, and they've largely all done quite well. Um, even those who, many of those who've survived through the, uh, the bear market uh, or the last bear market. And I was introduced to, uh, to Horizon, um, uh, team at Horizon, up in the team at Horizon actually um, early this year um, by one of, one of the exchanges that I'm quite close with. And, and to be honest, I didn't realize Horizon had rebranded to, uh, Horizon was a rebrand of Zencash. Um, back in 2017, when I first got into crypto, I actually held some Zencash. Um, I was always va very fascinated by the, the privacy aspects. Um, and, and, but then, you know, didn't really follow um, how, how it's evolved and, and iterated over the years. And, and so when I was introduced to, to Rob and the team um, early this year, I realized, wow, you know, it, it has come a long way since um, just a privacy coin um, and it's growing into a essentially layer one solution um, with, with mainnet coming up you know, it, um, very shortly. Um, and, and, you know, given the, it, it's, it's privacy centric, right? As, as, a, as an ecosystem, the, the technology itself is privacy centric. And I, I can see a lot of applications, um, particularly around finance. Um, and, and so, and, and given the, the networks, the investor networks, the, the founder networks I've built up in the, in the last few years. Um, so what I'm doing now with Horizon is really helping uh, the team at Horizon to, to grow the ecosystem uh, by introducing more projects, uh, more founders uh, to first understand what the technology is about and also to then cross over and, and build on, on, this, um, uh, on the mainnet. Excellent. And you were mentioning financial applications and, um, and privacy. So I guess that's a, a really a key thing going forward um, with, with the space. And uh, I want to also ask you, um, because with your advisory roles, you have probably a lot of great insight into this area. And uh, the team lead, Rob Viglione, has spoken a lot about opening up the ecosystem. So I'm just wondering, where do you see Horizon's current state of ecosystem growth and what are you expecting over the next 12 months? Um, I, I think, you know, Horizon at the moment with the, um, the mainnet launch, um, you know, it, it's really time to, uh, to take the name, you know, get the, get, it, get the name out there and let everyone know what, what it is about, right? So having, having spoken to many of my portfolio projects as well as other founders and investors, uh, many of them are, are not familiar with uh, what, what Horizon is about, what the technology is about. Um, but they did, you know, when I say Zencash, it, it, it does raise a, it does ring a bell. Um, so I think there is, you know, it's almost like Horizon is 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 a, a blank piece of paper at the moment in terms of ecosystem growth, and, and partly, and that's largely because um, apps or D apps haven't been able to be built on it yet, given that main it's uh, it is around the corner, um, but. I, I do see that in the next 12 to 18 months or even, you know, 24 months is where we'll see this acceleration um, in, the, in the number of D apps that will come into the, to the ecosystem, particularly in DeFi. Um, and, and, and that will go in parallel when with the, um, the, the growth or, or the improvements in the infrastructure within um, Horizon, right? So making, it, making the bridges, um, EVM compatibility, um, and, and therefore, that will enable various other um, additional tooling to be built, the DEXs, AMMs, all the key components of DeFi, right, uh, uh, to come on board. And obviously, you know, another verticals would be uh, NFTs, Metaverse, um, but I, I do see sort of DeFi, given the privacy-centric, um, uh, uh, um, I guess, uh, characteristic of, of Horizon, I think DeFi is probably the, 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 the first and, and the the most um, 
uh, low hanging fruit use case. Great. So you're mentioning several trends just then, metaverse, NFTs, and DeFi, which are all the rage at the moment. And your pick of those three, you think DeFi is where uh, Horizon is going to make uh, its first big splash this coming year? Yeah, I, I do think so. Um, you know, having spoken with the team many times, as well as other, you know, other other founders, it's uh, it's it's really, you know, it, it, it's lacking a lot of the the core elements of of DeFi, and I think that's where the opportunity, right, is. You know, it, it doesn't have any of the existing um, DeFi infrastructure that other ecosystems have. Yeah. So yeah, so I think that that's where where the the growth uh, will initially be. Great, and that's perhaps the, the largest impact you can see Zendu having mm -hmm. on the cryptocurrency industry. Uh, absolutely, and, and the great thing I love about Zendu is the fact that these, you know, these side chains allow um, applications to essentially um, be on the chains that suits its particular use case. Right, rather be on all on on the same chain. You know, if it's, if it's an NFT platform versus say an AMM, where the requirements are different. Um, you know, they, they focus on different things, then they can be on their own uh, side chain, right? While still having the security of the main chain. So I think that's that's really where, and, and, not, and not fight over, you know, um, block space or, or uh, uh, and, and, and if the chain gets congested, they can move on to, on to another chain, another side chain. So I think that's where the scalability, you know, the, um, the ability to, to ex grow exponentially um, really comes in. Excellent. Well, thanks so much, Gemma, for those great insights. And it's been lovely chatting with you. Great. Thanks, Michael.